In every era of Persian history, art has a history of its own. We are a people that believe in art for art's sake and also make use of art. Pedram Khododadi introduces the works of a contemporary Iranian artist. Art is part of the Persian culture, from the rugs displaying vivid colors to paintings by artists. And from centuries ago, art has been part of the lives of the people of this land. As modern art is picking up in Iran, I sat with Peyman Shafi as he was preparing for his upcoming solo expo. This young and talented artist has something new to offer. He has brought dimension to his canvases for the first time. Okay, so like, uh, nobody has done this, like nobody has done a 3D kind of work like this before. 3D form like this? No. I don't believe in flat canvases anymore. These are two of my new paintings from the 3D collection. I always try to show different type of, type of texture on each different painting. You always see a type of a movement of the letters in my paintings. I believe letters can dance, they can uh, talk, they can smile at each other. Actually, uh, I took this technique of, from an uh, artist called Jackson Pollock, one of the biggest pioneers of modern art. He used to uh, throw the ink and oil paint or acrylic direct on a painting, but I used my hands sticking on it direct with my own hands. That's a different style. And uh, the meaning of these paintings come from a book that my father wrote. Um, from Hafez. It's all the meanings that he believed that Hafez was explaining in his poetry. So if you look at the work, basically you see a type of a dance of a letters that is always twisted around and there's another dance that is going this way. So you're doing like a kind of modern art we can say. Right? This is like... Yeah, this style is actually I have uh, two different Type style. of work. Yeah, because yeah. calligraphy, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, called calligraphy, but it's a 3D calligraphy. But uh, my other style of paintings, that I call them uh, minimal 3D canvases, that are my canvases that I show uh, geometric forms in them and uh, colors. I went to the biggest and most prestigious Quran exhibition in the world with Payman to see one of his works on display there. The Quran exhibition is held in Tehran in the month of Ramadan every year. This stands for the, one of the biggest expositions in Tehran. I used to write Quran verses in my early paintings. This is a very early painting that I donated to the city of Tehran and the exposition of Mosalo Tehran. In this painting, I wrote verses of Quran using gold leaves and oil paint on canvas. I saw Paimon building up an art piece from scratch as he demonstrated how he works on a flat canvas, putting on layer by layer of paint as he was making a new art piece. In the 3Ds, uh, normally they take over two, three weeks to build the canvas. The artwork you made for us on camera was the Seymour, a mythical flying creature, famous in Iranian art and literature. And I got my own art piece as a souvenir. This is mine to keep. And finally, we're in Paymon Shafi's calligraphy exhibition. Let's check it out. پیمان داره مثلا انجام میده و رنگایی هم که انتخاب کرده رنگا خب مختص خودشه یعنی این رنگا رو فقط آدم با پیمان میبینه 
و بعد یواش یواش این خطای واضح خود به خود از بین رفته یعنی حروف واضح و دیگه به یه خطوط انتظایی رسید حالا این کار رو این سالهای پیش هم شده ولی به شکلهای دیگه من سه سری بومای سفید میذاشتن و پشتش رو یه حرکت هایی میدادن یا حالا شکلهای دیگری که مثل که مثلا یه صورت از پشت اومده اونا دیگه خیلی خیلی همگانی شده این اون نیست اون به هر حال یه بوم ساده است که یه حجمی رو از پشت بهش فشار میدن که یه فرما ایجاد کنه این یه بوم ساخته در واقع حجم ساخته یعنی هم در واقع یه جوری کار مجسم سازی کرده این فکت ایف آی وان تو تاک اباد هیز ورک بیفور دیس اکزیبیشن هی هز لاتس آف تینگز تو تاک اباد بیکاز هی نوز اباد کالر الات هی نوز اباد دی تکسچر الات He knows about the composition a lot. And you know, if uh, we want to talk about uh, an artwork, we have to consider all of these things together. When you uh, see and talk about their artworks, uh, lots of them are so similar to each other. Because of that, I think his work, because of these things I talked about, is a little bit uh, different. cliches and bringing about change is part of modern art in Iran. While I was told it's not always appreciated, young artists like these will continue to move in this direction. Pedram Khoyadadi for the Iran program.